Being we drift we're further gonna... from God's light. <laughs> uh, we, I, we, 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 it's not even. It's there's not. There's no more light to give. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and no more answers to the question that Sin, uh, Sinji and Syrup, or Syrup, is posing Sinji. What could be nine plus ten? Hopefully, we figure out at the end of this set as Ooh. the yo-yo. One more. No, he pulled the trigger a little bit too early. Did Syrup, but he got out of this. He got out <laughs> off the start of this game to seventy-five percent. And having a lead against Sinji is vital. Yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, the last time they played, Syrup kind of smoked Sinji. If I, if, I mean, I think just beat Sinji. I don't know if it was a smoke. But um, I know he did. He beat Sinji last time he played him. And I would have to say this matchup, uh, uh, compared to a bunch of other characters, like some characters have problems dealing with Pac-Man up close sometimes, even though he does, you know, he's a zoning character. Um, but Ness, Ness's big buttons tend to give Pac-Man a lot of problems. And uh, as you can see already, Sinji already losing his first stock. It's just been Syrup kind of punishing Sinji for jumping forward and trying to jumping into uh, Ness's airspace. Yeah, he's been trying to get to center to do exactly that, place the hydrant down, set up, set up the the normal kind of Sinji game plan. Mm -hmm. And Ness, uh, none of it. Syrup is running in. He's putting these PK fires at such a frustrating angles that you can do on uh, Pokemon Stadium, missing the platform cancel, getting it the second time. But mm -hmm. Sinji knows exactly what he's looking for and finds the Bell Punish afterward for that same kind of trick that Ness players will do on any by plat. Yeah, yeah. And um, that, that Bell Punish was in response to Syrup trying to read a uh, jump from Sinji. And Sinji, Sinji didn't give it to him and ended up on the platform. But um, we're going to see right now if Sinji can start to outpace Syrup a little bit because the way that the pace of this match is going... It just seems like it's it's set up for Sinji to almost uh, get worn down by Ness's aerial approach options. And that would have been a huge pace breaker for Syrup if he could find uh, find that stock there. But falling out of the forward air is Sinji. And able to get back to center, able to start charging his fruit. That dash attack getting a solid whiff punish on the grab for Syrup. And closing out the stock on the neutral getup as well. That yo-yo just does it all when you're on a ledge. And Sinji looked like he felt very forced to pick an option right there. Yeah, and this has kind of been the tell of the tape so far. Just Sinji struggling to keep center. And that's something that Sinji is very strong at doing. When Sinji keeps center, it's very hard to deal with. But Syrup is not letting him keep center. And it's almost like Sinji keeps moving side to side. Almost like he's playing with it, right? And, yeah. um, <laughs> and uh, it's Syrup is just keeping constant pressure. Yeah, it's, it, it's almost like the layout of the stage where because Syrup can put a, put a projectile and a high-value projectile, basically right into the center of the Pokeball. Mm -hmm. Like the Hydrant and Sinji's placement behind it almost don't matter because PK Fire is always going to ignite on the Hydrant. So Sinji needs to then retreat out of center if he wants to keep some sort of control, uh, if he wants to stay in neutral and not get caught in disadvantage. He has to hide underneath these platforms, which is kind of what Syrup wants you to do. Syrup wants to mix you up and weave around you where you least expect it. And, you know, I, I don't know if you've been, you been noticing, but Sinji has been playing a lot more grounded. And uh, ever since, you know, he, that second stock that he lost, Sinji's been almost exclusively going for grounded options, throwing oranges, th through an orange to get him off the stage to get that down air punish off stage, right? And uh, almost exclusively approaching him on the ground because aerial approaches to air-to-air -air options, he's not winning that battle. No, he's always getting either, he's losing or he's trading with nested, like, big buttons, big foyer, big and narrow, like, all the time. And Shield, Shield's been pretty decent to him thus far, and that dash attack will allow him to get right by, control that ground space. Yeah, and as you mentioned, he does not, he's really not jumping as much as he has to here. Though the jump from ledge will certainly mm -hmm. get him out of that situ uh, out of the uh, the ledge trap that he was in before. And it even climbed with the hydrant. But there's yeah. so much opportunities for damage getting lost because Syrup is just preemptive with so much of his buttons. Yeah, and you can tell Cindy's not even jumping towards him. He's only jumping away just to set up his hydrants or set up his uh, his, his fruit. Because at, at this point, he needs to rack up some type of damage because Syrup is hunting. And uh, if Sinji can get up, probably get up to like 80%, we have a chance because Pac-Man smash attacks, um, his bell setups, so the shenanigans that he can put, do. Um Good DI from Sinji, but yeah, we need to see, uh, we need to see him get to that uh, that 80 to 85 percent threshold. Rage will certainly be a big factor if Syrup allows Sinji just to keep on living, keep scrapping away in so many of these spots. The Hydrant as well. Oh yeah. no, mm -hmm. yeah, no yeah. way. <laughs> the yeah. Hydrant clipping the. We, we need to see that again. Because the Hydrant ended up clipping the PK fire. 
and in Syrup's attempt to throw out another one, have that hitbox active and out, ready to go. Oh no, he nared it down. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was just yeah. an aggressive landing when he really, really didn't need to. He had every right to just either retreat to ledge or retreat back to platform. Syrup got greedy and exactly when he shouldn't have. Yeah, and you know, Syrup was kind of dominating the first couple stocks, and then after that, you saw the strong adaptation, adaptation to Sinji. Not throwing out a lot of those forward airs that we were used to Pac-Man, you know, him throwing out a lot of, because it is a pretty good forward air, but compared to Ness's aerials, it doesn't stand a chance. So he just said, okay, cool. You have better aerials. Well, let's see how, how you are on the ground. And Sinji, like you said, scrapped it all the way back and eventually took that game. Yeah, they should. He's just playing it. He realized and figured out that nest players, hey, nest players like to jump. They like to linger in the air, be floaty. So if he's going to throw out an aerial, make it quick. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, get on the ground and play out of shield, which Pac-Man can do surprisingly mm -hmm. well with his frame 5 forward air and frame 3 in air. Yeah. Good and, uh, ground from Syrup, though, to try and keep this corner pressure going. Yeah, and now, now we're going to see how uh, Sierra adapts to Sinji playing more of a grounded game because we're already seeing a lot more forward throws by Sierra just trying to get Sinji off stage and, um, you know, just trying to keep him cornered and cornering him in movement rather than just buttons. Yeah, being a little bit more reserved and throwing up these PK fires that just basically right at the ledge angle, but Sinji gets back onto stage free and then disengage completely. But reset neutral, let me charge my fruit, let me charge my... Uh, let me charge my hydrant and set it onto the board, then see what I can get off of this. And right now it's rather even because of it. Pac-Man will still be able to recover. You just have to avoid the bell, which should be in his pocket, but he doesn't have to worry about it anymore because dash attack hikes through and kills now. Yeah, and, and the and the dangerous game Sinji's playing right now is is that Ness at the ledge can throw out like an imaginary amount of things just to take your stock. And uh and Syrup is definitely taking advantage of that. Um, and he's definitely, he has adapted to Sinji's more grounded approach options. And um, Sinji all, all missing that opportunity. Um, so has a chance if you could take the stock, you know, fairly quickly. He's throwing out the cherry, trying to get the, uh, the cherry to stuff out, the cherry and the hydrant to stuff out and interrupt the PK rocket. But good delay on Syrup's part just to make sure he can get back to ledge and just keep his damage going because the more times you play neutral with Ness, the more often he's just going to put up so much damage and find that back air as an interruption towards the ledge play that Sinji was attempting to set up. Backlane can usually get a lot of reward coming off of ledge with any sort of rising aerial, but not when he's met it with a back air to his giant dome. Yeah, and, and you know, it's pretty interesting, right? You, usually, sometimes you see Nesses at earlier percents try to go for throw, for, you know, down throw into whatever, right? But Syrup was strictly putting Sinji on platforms and off the ledge. He didn't even try to go for any type of confirms. It's just strictly positioning. And um, it's proving him well right now because he's almost about to three stop Sinji. Yeah, every hit always seems to go in his go in his favor. He finds ways to punish out of shield, punish af after whiff. But he's prepared with one of Ness's huge buttons. Oh, <laughs> God bless. Oh, okay. <laughs> God bless. God bless the melon. <laughs> of all the things to die from, okay, he's yeah. gonna end in not end in the JV quite yet because of the. Uh, Sinji's just re very very solid DI and getting uh, caught by the hydrant as well, but. You're just kind of waiting at this point for Syrup to find his final hit, but he doesn't have a jump. That was that was actually the stock. That's actually the stock, and that fruit actually took the stock. Um, and Sinji kind of just. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. He, that up air. Yeah. He he. First of all, this up air hitbox was. It, it, we can just look at this up air hitbox. Are, are, like, are you gonna circle it? Uh, <laughs> eventually, this is it. <laughs> but look at the fruit. Ooh. Let's go cherries. Because he had lost his jump at that point. So yeah. he can just throw out and boop. Uh, yeah, no, he was dead. That was a stock. Goodbye. So he didn't realize it. He was like, I'm going to edge guard. Right there. Yeah. And then he didn't even have to complete the edge guard there. Yeah. But it is, uh, you yeah, know, it was good of him to do so. Mm -hmm. You know, self assurity, a guaranteed thing. Yeah, we uh, we won't get the oh we will get the final stop. Yeah, let's let's see it real quick as both of these players start. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, look, yeah look at, okay. where that okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, Ness is up there. Big <laughs> move. I think I think that's, I, that's I think, the moral of the story. Moral of the story is big move. And look, already Sinji Sinji comes off the stage some comes off the stage with a forward air right comes off she comes off the ledge with a forward air doesn't even try to go for another follow up follow up option because he already knows that 
like like there, he tried to throw it at Ariel, got clipped by Ness, ended up off stage, and lost his stock. He doesn't even want to contend with Ness's aerials, and for good reason. Man, the ledge trapping has been so huge for Syrup, and it was huge in game one, it was huge in game two, and it's still proving its dividends here in game three. Even with Sinji mount, uh, being able to mount comebacks and mount a ton of pressure with his uh, with his ground game and with his item play, Syrup is basically just overwhelming him in a very small vacuum of the stage. He doesn't have to play full screen with Sinji if he keeps the screen just zoomed in to this ledge play, and it just keeps on climbing, hunting for the stock but not able to find it on the jump read, but finds it on the second one. <laughs> yeah, and like every, it's almost, it's, it's almost every time he jumps in the vicinity of, of Sierra, he's like losing a stock or taking a lot of damage. And and the you know and the messed up thing about it is well unfortunate thing about it for Zinji is that he needs to get something going and a lot of Pac-Man's approach options do come from aerial approaches like forward air, um, nair, right? And he's taking he's taking the stock right here, but you know it's just going to be a tough time for Zinji to start to generate things right now and you know I'm interested to see how he does it. Yeah, he does have the Galga in hand. Galga can result in. A lot of damage very quickly, but using it too early, Syrup spacing him out very well. And uh, Pac-Man without his jump, almost uh, susceptible to all of these upgrades and all of this jungle game, but only only resulting in 52%. It's it's damage you're going to have to take at this point because yeah. you're uh, two stocks behind. You're going to have to put yourself at a little bit more at risk than before. Yeah, and you know, right now, since he's doing a very good job of chipping away um, at the lead right now, Keeping Syrup at bay, trying to set up his trap. He, he actually has enough space for him right now to set up a trap. And, um, you know, this isn't too bad. This is, the, this is the kind of pace that Sinji needs right now. That frantic, hectic pace of you trying to jump into Ness isn't working for him. So this is definitely good look for Sinji. Yeah, I wonder if we'll start seeing a grab on some of these follow-ups. Because then there's been a lot of instances where Syrup will come down with an aerial, something like a forward air. Then space it so he doesn't get... Uh, uh, space it so he's drifting back a little bit and pulls up shield, waiting for Sinji to do that forward arrow nair out of shield and punishing him for that. We'll have to see if he starts getting, uh, well, getting prepared with this bell is obviously a very great punish, but throwing out Pac-Man's grab may be the mix-up he needs to keep control of this tempo. 106 at this point, still kind of being a, a very trade-heavy game, tit for tat, but... Yeah, yeah, and since... Yeah, and that was actually very good by Sinji. Just immediately going over that dash attack to snatch the the bell away from Syrup. Just trying to find anything right now. And that was it. Oh, that was it. He whiffed it. And that was the chance he had gone a little bit too okay. early. But good SDI on uh, good both shield DI and SDI on Sinji's part to get out of the uh, get out of the hits of the yo-yo and not lose his stock immediately. <gasps> okay, I okay, thought he wraps it up. Okay, I thought he messed that up. <laughs> that was a and Good confirm. Good solid. Good solid stuff. Being able to follow the stun and give himself a chance in this game three. Uh, and that was a crazy trump by Syrup. He, Syrup is so good with these trumps. It's like almost instant. And that, that and it's very hard for people to react to that. And that was almost a stop. Armors through it. Got fighting again off ledge with this nair. Oh, this is gonna. He's fighting game. for his life right now. Yo, he's scrapping. <gasps> you got. Okay. He got, so, he definitely got really spooked, because... <laughs> this is so good. Oh, man. This was such a good setup, but Syrup, after getting juggled, after getting juggled for three of Pac-Man's up airs, which is not known for its juggling, decides, yeah. I'm going to land and then be aggressive. Oh, come that on. That wasn't that bad. It was, it was kind of... That it wasn't was that bad. Uh, that wasn't that. that was, there wasn't, but it wasn't that bad. It could have like, been worse. Like there like, was like, Sinji's no holding out his fist. There is no. That, that wasn't on Sinji's end, by the way. Yeah. No, no, Sinji's yeah. is good. Sinji's like straight and like pretty firm. Yeah, it's the limp. That's Sy the limp. Syrup, uh, syrup kind of, syrup kind of limp. Uh, kind of limp, bro. Hey, man. Yeah. Come Weak. on, man. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, yo, um, yo, uh, get, yo, get, Ready get my, get my man's, uh. Yo, a man's a glass of milk or something. He can't be. He needs to have his bones. He can't. He, <laughs> yo, he can't. He can't some be doing. Milk. You, you, you can't. You can't, you can't be roll reading with up smash and giving some, some limp wristed uh you know you face go. pounds. Like, come on, guys. Come on, bro. You could do better than that. Yeah. You, know? so, but you, you beat Sinji. Roll. You beat Sinji. You need to give the. Like, you need to see. Look at the wrist. Look, no, see, look this. The wrist. Okay. Tight.